Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. (laughs) All right. I sat down to watch the clock turn eight o'clock. All righty. Good morning. Hey. Um, I'm sitting at my desk. I still have the innocence cards. (laughs) Like exactly, exactly how I left them. So I'm hoping that I took pictures and posted it on Instagram. Uh, I literally got up yesterday from the podcast and never even came back to my desk because I just (laughs) was delightfully distracted with my day. Um, After the podcast yesterday, I took my daughter to Walmart to get her glasses replaced. No trouble there. It only took like 15 minutes um, because it was still under warranty and they had the frame and stock so they just pop those lenses into a new frame and sent us on our way so that was good and um on when i came back i i um i had already done the dishes and i thought i wonder if my books are coming today so i kind of just like did a few things waiting to see if i got a notification that they were delivered and they were so i drove down to my mailbox because it's like a mile away (laughs) And I got my new book. So I actually ordered two books, but there was one that I wanted and one that I feel that someday I should read. And the one that I feel like someday I should read, it will probably take me someday to get to it. <laughs> it's um, Women Who Run With the Wolves. And it is a beast of a book. It's ginormous and it's stories and I don't know. So like I, that's probably gonna be a winter book for me but it's it looks good um on my bed (laughs) stand (laughs) it looks good like yeah yeah she read that book sure she did um so the that was the one that I ordered just to get the free shipping but the one that I was like excited and waiting for was from Florence Scoville Shin and um I am beyond ecstatic to have this book in my possession because it confirms that all things are in divine timing for me and she and I'm she is definitely one of my guides Flossie I mean I how often do I say that so certainly Flossie is excited that I have found her book so this book it's actually a collection of writings uh, from Florence Scoville Shin, but we're gonna call her Flossie because we are friends with her now. It's actually like four of her books and collect or collections of essays. So it's all in one book. Uh, the Game of Life and How to Play It. Your Word is Your Wand. Remember I told you about that. Your Word is Your Wand. The Secret Door to Success and the power of the spoken word. Okay, so she wrote this, I wanna say in the 20s and 40s. Um, The Game of Life and How to Play It, 1925. Your Word is Your Wand, 1928. The Secret Door to Success, 1940. And the Power of the Spoken Word, 1945. So, God love her, she's me. Um, she's, She's me. Uh, She was like married for 13 or 14 years and then she got divorced and then she got into metaphysics and stuff and became like a teacher of that and wrote these works. So it literally could be me in that sense too. I'm I'm highly relating to her as a personality. The way she writes, it's like me, but a little bit classier, no swear words, Um, but she's really down to earth and it's this is so easy to read. I literally got to page 33 and she changed me forever and confirmed forever. And I also was like, I have to share this 
with everyone and I got angel bumps all over my body and I felt like she was saying yes 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 now I don't know like copyright how I'm gonna be able to do that but I would love to read this book to you someday maybe we'll have some special episodes like I do with angelic herbs and we'll have flossy we'll have flossy episodes fun with flossy um, because everything that she says is basically putting together what we've been doing here at Ho. So the laws of the universe and our spoken word, using them in conjunction together with an understanding that it is our divine right to receive all that is meant for us. So the way she speaks, which she would call them treatments, people would come to her for treatments of the spoken word, it's, in, it's just perfect. It's just so perfect for me. So I am already on page um, 81, 80, 81. I'm going to devour this book today. I'm going to, this book is one of those books. I'm just, I'm going to finish it and then I'm going to start it again. <laughs> okay. I want to tell you of an awesome synchronicity though that just happened this morning. So I decided to read a little bit this morning because it's my life and I'll do what I want. And I ended on page 80. Okay. And it um, is a quote be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And I was like, yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing. I am renewing my mind. And we are going to talk with the trees today, so we'll see what they want to talk about. I would love it if the trees, our tree guides, would like to talk about renewing our mind as well. But, you know, you can't force things to happen. They just will happen. All right, so anyways, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And I thought, hell yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Well, don't I get down here and um, I'm like, I'm going to read my Jesus Calling entry real quick today. It's the 9th of July. Just going to read it real quick. And, and well, you know, I skimmed yesterday's and the day, you know, made sure I, I um, remembered what yesterday's and the day before was because they were pretty cool. And now today... Um, the July 9th says, stop worrying long enough to hear my voice. I speak softly to you in the depths of your being. Your mind shuttles back and forth, hither and yon, weaving webs of anxious confusion. As my thoughts rise up within you, they become entangled in those sticky webs of worry. Thus, my mind, my, thus, my voice is muffled and you only hear white noise. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that fucking happens, right? <laughs> so <clears throat> the Jesus Calling book went on to say, ask my spirit to quiet your mind so that you can think my thoughts. This ability is an awesome benefit of being my child, patterned after my own image. Do not be deafened by the noise of the world or that of your own thinking. And then... Here's what I want to tell you about. Here's the synchronicity. It legit says, instead, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And I'm like, I literally just closed one book upstairs that said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I think I'm done with that for a little bit. I come downstairs, open up another book. <laughs> And it says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Sit quietly in my presence, letting my thoughts reprogram your thinking. So, I don't know what your theme for the day is, but I have asked for my life to be very obvious with me. And, you know, like, just quit, just quit, you know. I mean, like, <laughs> not to be ignorant, but it's like, cut the shit already and show me directly, show me clearly. So this could not be any more clear that today my personal theme is being transformed by the renewing of my mind. Now, this is, this is obviously a book or a quote from the book of the Bible. So it's either in um, a D word, D or Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, or Genesis 127 or Romans 12, 2. What is that word? De Deuteronomy, 
I don't, I don't know, 30, 20, Genesis 127 or Romans. I could find out for you if you wanted to know. <laughs> But we don't even need to know. The thing is, it's like we got to get quiet. We've got to listen to our inner knowing. We've got to reprogram our mind. We will be transformed if we renew our thinking. And so I feel like with this 7 7 portal this week, the beginning, you know, this, it's 808 right now. That's another significant number for me. Um, it really is time for us to become very clear and deliberate and transform our thinking. So I would love to somehow figure out how I'm gonna share these these new insights from Flossie, um, from Florence Scovulshin. I want you to get this book. Now this book is from Devor's Divor, Publications, D-E-V-O-R-S-S, Devor's.com. Um, and they put it in, they put her ageless wisdom like for women. So I don't know if Florence wrote her original book for women or if they put this spin on it, but the whole way through the book, it's it's talking about like you as a woman, do you know, like, um, you know, and it really, as they put it into the feminine approach, it really resonated with me greatly. So I literally would love to, I don't know if I need to get permission to read it or I'll just do it anyways. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be like taking notes and, and, and sharing them with you one way or another. Because she's got affirmations um, and they're written, you know, from the 20s. So it's kind of in a classier way, but I think it's more in an effective way. For me, it feels more effective. Like, I'm not knocking the affirmations I do. Like, this week we hung out with hops. You know, it, my I love the down-to-earth affirmations, too. Um, but I also love the way she writes as well. Um, you know, like, forgive forgiveness. And that's what she was also reminding me. I really got to forgive even more. Um, here's some affirmations for forgiveness. I forgive everyone and everyone forgives me. The gates swing open for my good. So her affirmations always have like a second line that takes that takes it home. My, the gates swing open for my good. I mean, I'm not just forgiving everyone and, and everyone just isn't forgiving me. It doesn't stop there. The gates then swing open for my good. I call on the law of forgiveness. I am free from the mistakes and the consequences of mistakes. I am under grace and not under karmic law. I mean, it's a really, this book is an awesome way to get more direct. It really is. So I'll, I'll definitely be taking a picture of this and putting it on herboracle.blogspot.com, the new blog that I have to figure out uh, the font and the coloring. Because if you sign up for emails, it's just like a bunch of blank lines. And I apologize about that. Uh, Though my mistakes be as scarlet, I am washed and as pure as snow. So yeah, please forgive me. What didn't happen in the kingdom never happened anywhere. So it's a totally different type of vibe, um, you know, but it's awesome. Like I promise you, you'll love it. Like I can confidently say you'll love this book. So I will put a link to it um, in my next blog post. For sure, absolutely. So, affirmations, they really are so important. We need, they need to resonate though. Like you really gotta say them and mean them and feel them. And yesterday as I was saying some of this stuff in this book out loud, like I said, I was getting angel bumps all over my body. I could just feel Flossie like applauding me um, for finding this book and I was so, just enthralled to be reading this book all afternoon and that's what I did and 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 then and then um I made cheesecake did I tell you about that I baked a cheesecake um the night before so I shared some with my mom she visited I I read some more of the book and then I walked down with my daughter to give some to my beloved Lorraine and she enjoyed that cheesecake so much so much it just was so rewarding to be able to make something that was actually good enough 
to share <laughs> and see someone enjoy it. So I had a pretty good day yesterday, you guys. Um, I feel like it's time for us to really, I don't want to say take control, but I surrender to the control that our higher selves have laid out for us and, and really um, demand what is, you know, divinely ours now. And, and yeah, it's fun to, you know, um, <clears throat> learn our lessons a billion times. <laughs> but we're getting to the point that we can really now claim what is ours and really start to enjoy life and renew our mind. Absolutely. Renew our mind, clear out some stuff, and really step into the wholeness of who we are. So I feel like energy has shifted for me. I feel like something's different. Something is way, way different. And it's good. And it is good. So hopefully I'll be able to put portray this new um, energy. Um, I will be able to share a lot of flossy with you over the next few months. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be good. All right, so while I'm drifting off, <laughs> let's just do our affirmations for our herb of the week. We hung out, we're hanging out with hops this week, um, which perfectly set the tone to renew ourselves and to bring in this new energy that's coming in here in July. Like, cause hops was like, I am chill, I, I rest and you know, I know when to relax and just, you know, I know when to chill out and celebrate and, and it really kind of got us in that receiving mode, would you say? Like hops and its encouragement to chill out kind of just got us to be like, all right, cool. Like, let's just lay back a bit. And that allows the gates to open wide. So hops wants us to celebrate what the good that's in our life. It really does. Um, and share our prosperity, share our cheesecake, give it from the heart. That's what makes giving feel so good. Not giving out of obligation or giving out of guilt or, you know what I'm saying? You got to give from the heart. And you also need to receive in the heart. You need to really never deny a gift. And that's what Flossie was saying in her book too. If if you deny a gift, you're you're telling the universe you don't want any more blessings so like anytime anyone wants to give anything to you like that like those uh blankets that like my friend dropped off bedding and i was like i just received it you know what i mean it's like like receive the gifts be thankful for it you know i love that somebody wants to they think of me and wants to give something to me they could literally give me I was going to say just a rock out of the driveway and I'd be excited, but I actually would be excited to get a rock. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's not what you, even if you like, don't think you need it, receive it because it's a gift and it keeps the, the channels of abundance open to you and all, all of that. So open yourself to the abundance of the universe, receive and balance and really be a channel for the expression of the universe. That's what Hobbes was saying too. Really, really know that you are the channel and the universe is manifesting through you. Your higher self is, is manifesting through you. Bring that creativity in and um, yeah, allow yourself to have your divine expression. This Affirmation Minute is brought to you by our Herb of the Week, Hops, and I dedicate them all to you. Thank you so much. I am chill. I relax and know when to rest. I celebrate all the good that my life holds. I share my prosperity and give from the heart. I receive and balance. I open myself to the abundance of the universe. I am a channel for her expression. I am chill. I relax and know when to rest. I celebrate all the good that my life holds. I share my prosperity and give from the heart. I receive in balance. 
I open myself to the abundance of the universe. I am a channel for her expression. And so it is. And, you know, another thing that I just love about this book from Flossie is um, <laughs> she's not going to let me go on anymore cursing anybody or being resentful. Like, she's going to help teach me how to really cast blessings. Mm-hmm. Oh, so much, you guys. Oh, I'm reading this book to you. Whether I have permission or not, we're going to, we are, <laughs> I'm either going to inspire you to buy this book the Complete Writings by Florence Scovelshin for Women. Um, yeah, I know there's there was a lot of, you know, like when I ordered this off of Thrift Books, there was a lot of different choices for her, but I went with this one. And so, yeah, I really don't know. It's an updated edition of the Prosperity Classic, you know, by the Divorce Publications, which is funny because it kind of sounds like divorce. Um... And, um, but I'm so glad I went with this one. So I'm going to find out for you. Now you can get her audiobooks on YouTube. So I feel like, like people are allowed to read her works now because they're over a certain age and she's, she dead. <laughs> um, like, but she's like laughing at that because, you know, she's eternal and it was funny that actually made me laugh out loud this part of the book somebody um one of her friends or something there wasn't much she she really led like a under the radar life while she was alive but this made me laugh so hard where is it um one of her friends said <clears throat> era glacken comments finally one day flossie went into her living room sat down and died <laughs> and I it made me laugh so hard I don't know it, it just was so humorous to me um because yeah finally because I could I could relate to that finally one day Sadie decided to go into her sit in her living room and die you know <laughs> like it'll just be like that <laughs> okay so anyways um I love her Flossie thank you all right, so we need to focus on the trees today and uh, see if we can get a message from them. And uh, yeah, I will, I will bring Flossie into hell again and again, I'm sure, and have her hang out with us. Okay, so soul trees, oracle cards, that's where we're going now. What do the trees want to talk about today? I know what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about renewing my mind. And, um, you know, it's kind of come upon that for the last two years. <laughs> so it's time. It really, really is time to put all of the things that we've intellectually learned about, really start to reap the wisdom. Wisdom is a knowingness, right? I mean, it's not just like intellectual information or, you know, being able to recall. Wisdom is like understanding and knowing from that point of view, really putting it into the essence of who you are now. All right, so let's take out these Archangel sigils that live in this box with the Soul Trees Oracle Cards by Allison Williams. Ye, you can find her on soul-trees.com. Okay, so what do the trees want to talk about today? Ooh, what do you want to talk about today? What's on your plate today? Have another chill day. I mean, please, hops is our herb of the week. This is your, this is definitely our week to sit around and read our new books. And yesterday when I was at Lorraine's house, she sent me off with a stack of magazines that after I'm done reading, I got to take back, <laughs> um, which always makes me like, okay, I got to take care of these, um, but I'm going to read through those too. So I feel like spirit wants me to chill out this week. My ankles also are not feeling so fabulous this week, which I don't know why. <laughs> like maybe like I've been walking too much in my old sandals, my old lady sandals, but they're so pretty with the gold, the gold buckles. But anyways, they're not maybe as supportive as they should be. Or maybe spirit really is just like sit on your ass please and read this book and chill out 
and relax and be open, it's time to do that. It's time to integrate these energies coming in. Um, it really is. So I know there's a lot of galactic and celestial activity going on this week. I can feel that um, because, you know, part of my job is to anchor that in. But I also feel this really strong call to really go ahead and be human this week and go ahead and enjoy being human this week. And, you know, like sometimes I get so excited about galactic stuff and, you know, thinking about all that. But like, I feel like my guidance this week is like, and remember what you came here to experience too. Like, yeah, you're here to help all this stuff. You're here to anchor light. You're here to spread the word and connect people with the essence of who they are, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but also don't forget that like you are here having a human experience. And part of it for me is seeing how well I can get it to work for me, right? Fulfilling my destiny um, with my human journey. So a lot of a lot of energy this week is put on, you know, renewing my mind in that sense, and um, allowing my personal small self to expand more and more into my higher self. Okay, so what were the trees? like to talk about today. I thought about the trees this morning as I was drinking my coffee out on the porch and I see the big ass Davy tree cutting truck fly down the fucking road. Oh, may all energy be returned. I hope those men are cutting those trees down with reverence. Talk about casting spells. Like I wanna bless everybody. So this is what Flossie is gonna be working with me on too. I want to bless everybody, but yet at the same time, I'm still struggling, um, you know, with a few things. And seeing that tree cutting truck, you know, the big ones. And those guys always drive so fast with that a billion ton truck, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so they're clear clearing a lot of trees from the area this week. And I, yeah, I really just hope that like... They're doing it with reverence and not like, I'm going to cut that son of a bitch down. Like, I swear to God, so help me. <laughs> so anyways, I was already thinking about the trees and this morning physically. I've been physically thinking about trees. So I'm glad it's Thursday. I'm glad we're getting to tr hang out with the tree spirits and the tree wisdom. And I am open to talking about whatever they would like to talk about. Okay, so let's pull some cards. Whoa. I literally cut, like I went to shuffle like the first cut and these cards flew out. <laughs> what? Okay, that was so fun for me. There's three cards. Okay, fine. We're, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna dick around, I guess. Um, we're getting straight to the point. The first card on the top is guidance. This, the one in the middle is assurance. And the one on the bottom is teach, reversed. But because I have them in a straight line, like boop, 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 just like our uh, Terra Tuesday, boop, 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 <laughs> all in a line, straight vertical line. I feel like it has to be vertical today with the trees because um, and we'll have some horizontal, you know, we'll have some out to into the horizontal realm, but there's such a calling for us to go vertical, you know, for us to go up into the higher realms, down into Gaia, right? Really get anchored in our <clears throat> energy in a vertical way, up and down, you know, hor the horizontal playing field is you know are the reality that we live in other people earth yeah of course we're going to venture out into the horizontal realm but the trees want to you know guide us our guidance our personal guidance should come from the vertical realm our higher selves our support from mother earth right within us our column of light 
our balanced and aligned chakras. That is what, oh, that's cool. The teach card is all the colors of the rainbow. So yeah, our balanced and aligned chakras, if they're not, work on that. Get that going on. See, see your chakras in a line, okay? Your main chakras, your, are there seven? So your seven main chakras or whatever, like see them in a line, okay? They've got the rainbow colors, the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the indigo, the violet, okay? They're there, they're working. Now see them all merging into white light. Our chakras are now going to work together, are going to unify and work together um, like they were designed to do to create this pillar, this column of light within us, this anchoring of light that comes in, you know, through the higher realm, down through our crown chakra. It anchors us into Gaia, right? It's this give and receive and balance. It's an up and down flow, um, an exchange of energies as above, so below. We are the conduit, okay? We are the antenna. So we want to see our chakras more and more now, not as individualized, but more so as a column of light. Now, of course, depending on where you're at, you know, it's we're going to have to still focus on individual chakras for our cord cutting, for our clearing, for our balancing, for our recentering, for our aligning. Like we're going to have to do our individual chakra work, but a lot of us are getting to the point where we're just about done with that um, because we're doing so much inner work consciously, subconsciously, super consciously in our sleep, in our waking hours, right? Like we are deliberately transmuting energy all the time. And then, of course, our higher selves are just nonstop with working at us too, that we are becoming more balanced than we've ever been. That's why we are feeling renewed. That's why we are feeling like we're stepping into a new energy. We're stepping into more of who we truly are. And as we do that, our, our chakras are balanced, aligned, and we can now visualize um, our support system, our vertical support system as a column, a pillar of light that just sustains us and radiates out into everything that we do. So the trees are coming in with guidance, assurance. They just really want us to feel like we are on the right path, we are taken care of. Um, the assurance tree is a dark trunk tree and the leaves or blossoms, what have you, at night are lit up. So that is like the, uh, the ascension column. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. The column of light inside of us, um, the pillar of light, the ascension column, it is sustaining us now. It is radiating so much energy within us that we can't help but have all our branches and leaves and blossoms lit up. Even in the night, we are lighted. So anyways, it's our responsibility that trees say to teach this. One, by our example, maybe that's all we need to do at this time. But, you know, lit, walk your talk, stay on the lighted path, teach by example. Maybe no words are even needed, but if someone asks, of course, let, let them know what you've been doing. Let them know how you feel. Uh, but yeah, energy teaches best. Yeah, your energy teaches best. So allow yourself to be guided. The guidance tree is up there. Branches reaching ever upwards into the higher realms. Allow yourself to be guided by your higher self, um, by your guides, angels, by the Christ consciousness that you are consciously aware of now within you. So I was thinking about that today. Like a lot of times, like people don't resonate with Jesus, like give it over to Jesus. That doesn't resonate with people because they're seeing it as something outside of them. And I think once people start to realize that they have the spark of Christ light within them, like give it to the Christ within, right? Give your burdens to the Christ light within, to Christ consciousness within. 
like once they start to see that it's not like some an, an, an idea they have to like see outside of themselves but experience within themselves I think people are going to be able to connect um, even more with um, their own Christ consciousness so anyways um, there's definitely the trees want to talk about going within being guided vertically letting all your assurance comes come from that support system within above and below you within above and below um it's like be in the world but not of the world of course um when you look outside of yourself you're just giving your power away so we know that and now we're gonna really 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 just be reassured by this energy that we already have within us and we can grow that within us and then of course teach of course teach so i love that the teach tree is all of the colors of the rainbow do you know it's like yeah all of those beautiful chakra centers and those rays of light um you know we're a mixture of all of them um and they all work together harmoniously and we anchor we anchor that energy down so the colors mostly being anchored down are yellow orange and violet a little bit of blue only a little bit of blue so that blue is like the throat chakra so only a little bit of, only a little bit of voicing what you need to teach but it's like you know use your willpower use your determination in the solar and sacral energy centers um, use that and violet like your intuition so we're we're meditating a lot we're feeling our self-esteem we're feeling our self-worth we know that everything that's coming to us is divinely ours to receive um, we're feeling good that's what people are picking up on us we're feeling secure of who we are um, people want that too we're intuitive we're seeing clearly and yeah just when we need to be vocal we will it's my chair it's my chair is being very vocal here <laughs> all right so that's the message from the trees okay let's go to our next deck the wisdom of the trees oracle and uh, this one's by jane struthers and uh, we'll just see what trees <laughs> want to come out with this my god like i didn't even get to like consciously pick these three cards which was perfect i love i loved how they shot out of the deck <laughs> right that was awesome that was really cool all right let's get a drink um shuffle i'll shuffle this and then we will see what else the trees want to say to us today all right i really messed up the cards good like it was a good messy shuffle i like did a hand tornado twist with them I like just really got them stirred up. So, do we need more do we need more guidance, more reassurance or more teaching from the trees? Which <laughs> which one do we need here? Okay, so let's see. Um how does that resonate with you? I mean, are you ready to really just rely on that vertical support? because it's sort of vi that vibes with what we've been doing this week you know going back to our tarot reading cutting the the head cords the heart cords the sacral cords that were weighing us down <clears throat> right that's that's returning energy onto us right reclaiming our energy um having energy returned back to senders um you know that's really that's really an act of becoming sovereign in our own selves and relying on that vertical support. Not that you can't reach out into the horizontal playing field, but if you're not completely solid in your verticalness, <laughs> one, two, three, um, that, you know, it's just you're wobbly. You're wobbly out there. So we want to be really solid now. We really, really do. The guidance tree is really solid. The assurance tree is straight and solid. Now the teach tree is representing the roots here. 
um, it splits off and it goes every which way because yeah once you're solid once you're guided once you're assured you can teach in all different directions in all different colors manners techniques approaches every moment is a teaching moment right once you're in that place of alignment okay so which trees want to come out of the wisdom of the trees oracle i love this little deck you can get nerdy with this deck and then we got one whoa we got the coast redwood oh my gosh and it's reversed but talk about a straight trunk what's on the top that was on the bottom whoa and scott pine also a straight trunk <laughs> okay so i am gonna put these um oh i was like where do you guys want to be okay we got two straight lines now we have widened we have widened our vertical support like our column of light just got thicker like thick with two c's um these straight straight trunks yeah that's what i'm saying like work on the pillar within you of support work on your column work on your vertical system of support be so solid and strengthened and renewed you know who you are you are so guided you are so supported the assurance is there you're just it's a new level of confidence that's what this is it's a new level of confidence um, now they are both reversed I don't, I don't know why um, but they look cool they look cool <laughs> All right, they're both brown. They have both have brown borders, which is the trunk. They're trunk cards, which is all about healing. Now we just had the Scott Pine, maybe even just last week. Am I right? With, am I right about that? It's the little cabin in the snowy woods, right? I feel like it was us like saying, you know, take time to to just you know chill and go within um but it's coming back this week the scots pine reversed inversed however you want to say it um is your life cluttered with too many commitments or possessions are you holding on to them because you truly need them or because they are familiar and you are unwilling to discard them perhaps it is time to let some of them go so yeah i would definitely say that whatever is not in your highest alignment the trees are saying you, you really need to let it go we told you this last week yes squeaky chair my chair is so squeaky um we told you this last week and um yes we're just coming in to squeak it squeak it again okay so that's what the scots pine is all about construction it, they use this for building ships and homes right so i don't know do we have scots pine around here is that what the tree guys are cutting down the tree men folk are here in town to cut more trees um so scots pine is all about constructing a richer and healthier life right having our minds renewed having our spirits renewed today being guided, being assured, being teachable, letting yourself being being teachable, right? So I got a couple messages that this week that I need to not be a know-it-all and come at life with an open mind. <clears throat> and then so I get this book from Flossie and it's like, yeah, everything I've been studying is totally valid, but getting myself into an, a beginner's mind again, she's gonna help me see it in a, in a new way a, a more constructive way and be able to better utilize everything that I've been entertaining you know it's like yeah we read all the laws of the universe last year the first whatever hundred podcasts or whatever for ho we got into the laws of the universe and now it's time to really construct with those it's like okay it's like almost like we've just been practicing up to this point now it's actually time to build i feel like the trees are saying now it's time 
to build a richer and healthier life. So Flossie was talking about the square of life. So draw a square in your mind's eye. And um, to if you fulfill all four sides of the square, you like have a, you know, a successful life. It's health, wealth, love, and perfect creative expression. So those are the things that we want to be manifesting in our life. Health, wealth, love, and perfect creative expression. And when we complete all four sides of those squares, that's, that's when we're fulfilling our destiny. That's what we came here to do for ourselves, for our soul, for our spirit, for our humanness. Um, and that's when we're most content, right? So let's construct a life that we actually want. Let's construct a life that we enjoy, we genuinely enjoy. We are truly satisfied with. We are fulfilled, right? We are fulfilled because we are living the perfect life for us. So you kind of have to have an openness though to it because you can't be so rigid in saying, well, I want my life to look like this, this, and that. You have to say, no, what is divinely right for me will be mine. I want to live the, the life that is best for me. So you have to have an openness to be guided to what is best for you. Not what your ego mind thinks is best for you or what somebody else might be doing. Your life is going to look unique onto you. So that's what the Scots Pine is saying. Like, hey, I can't. I was here last week. I told you to, to stop doing all the things that don't resonate, okay? And it's so important that I've come back again. That I've come back again um, to tell you to really release what you no longer lead, need. So if you're hoarding too much stuff, your energy is congested. You will ma you could be manifesting congested lungs or congested body. Like, not to be too woo woo with you, but if you have too much stuff around you, if you got stuff everywhere, you're hoarding stuff you don't need. You have a storage shed full of stuff just in case it. You know, you're hoarding possessions. What do you think that's energetically doing to your field around you? You'll start to manifest congested issues in your physical vessel if you are also hoarding and, and congesting your space with clutter. So cleaning house is important, literally, energetically. Like, you got to do it. And... It's like I'm telling you what you already know because when you walk into that room and you see all that stuff, you don't like it and you don't feel good and it makes you a little little ornery. So time to clear your space. Now, the Coast Redwood is all about growth. So that's awesome. Now it is reversed, so it says life brings many joys, but it can also bring challenges. Do your utmost to rise to them and reassure, now it's right beside the assurance tree, and reassure yourself with the knowledge that you have encountered them for a reason and your soul has matured and developed as a result. So all of our challenges we will now label as blessings and successes and teaching moments, okay? So that's cool that it's that this is this tree is in between assurance and it goes down into teach. So our challenges are here to teach us. Okay? Um our challenges are here to expand us, to be catalysts and to be mirrors and to be mirrors to let us know where our energy lies and where our energy is. So the universe just literally responds to energy and reflects energy, right? Boomerangs energy back to you. And it's like, that's kind of why um, I was getting the message that we have to clean up our words 
because like yeah it's funny when i'm sarcastic and you know say oh my life is complete bullshit like ha 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 but the universe actually doesn't have like a sense of humor it takes everything very very literally so if i go around always saying my life is bullshit guess what i manifest more of my life bullshit like all the time like even if i'm joking when i'm saying it my word is my wand all the things that i say are spells everything that i'm saying it's like programming a computer of the universe the computer is just giving me what i request so if i'm saying all the time my life is bullshit i'm programming bullshit even though I think sarcastic humor is hilarious, the universe doesn't, doesn't speak sarcasm. It's very literal. So that's kind of a good reason for us to really manage what we're saying and be aware of what we're thinking and clean up that clutter. Clean up um, the words and thoughts that are unnecessary and not serving us. So that's why the teach, the teach tree that's reversed, that told me that we really don't have to say a whole lot this week. Um, and that will give us an opportunity to shut up and, and, and be aware of what our, where our thoughts are. Because if we're just running at the mouth without um, a filter all the time, and we're saying things that like, are just out of habit right uh, you know like how you doing today Joe oh, another day another dollar you know what I mean or like we just say things that like we shouldn't maybe uh, oh just getting through another day man yeah that might be what you always reply with casually but is it serving you to say that so I feel like the trees uh, the, the Scots Pine and the Coast Redwood really want us to get the junk out, clean up the clutter, only say what we want to manifest, really. Be quiet and really be deliberate what you're saying now. And uh, the Coast Redwood wants us to bless all things especially our challenges or just including right uh challenges come by and we say this moves me not okay like this doesn't even move me because i only believe in good and i know that i can rise to it and everything has a solution and right you just give it over you give it over to the universe um, and allow the solution to come to you so now also, these everything that we experience in life is a way for our soul to mature and develop even more. So now the Coast Redwood Deva says, some, of, some members of my family are the tallest trees on earth. They are also some of the oldest, having weathered many storms and dangers. Let me show you how to be resilient while remaining connected to both heaven and earth. So that just brings us back to our vertical support, being the conduit between heaven and earth, right? So challenges come, storms come, right? Everything, everything is washing and sloshing horizontally around us in our life. But we are this solid pillar. Do you see how important that is? That it's like it doesn't really matter how sloshy it gets around us. We are guided and assured um, with our vertical support system. So yeah, I feel like our trunks, our inner trunks, our inner columns um, of light just got wider, just got thicker. Yeah, with two C's. Um, so yeah, that's, that is the Coast Redwood, you know, the Coast Redwood wants you to have the courage to be the person you know yourself to be. So yeah, we really are coming in more to who we truly are. And that is why Scott's Pine was saying, listen, as you become more of who you truly are, 
you're going to have to let go of more and more stuff that just does not resonate with you anymore. That is why you have to let go of the, the commitments, the possessions, anything that is not in alignment with your higher self because you want to build the life that you want. Scott's Pine says, are you building the life you want or do you feel dissatisfied because something is not working out in the way you would like? Look beyond the day-to-day -day difficulties to gain a clearer view of where and how you need to make changes. And also, it's like if things aren't working out the way you thought they should, you have to, you have to put some confidence into spirit and say to yourself, well, then that's not meant for me. I command that what is meant for me find me. I want this to work out the way it's supposed to for me, right? If this is if this is meant for me, then it will work out. If if that experience is mine to have, then it will find me. Um so yeah, have the courage to be the person that you know yourself to be. And to finish, Coast Redwood says, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to excel because you are worried about showing how exceptional you really are. Do your very best in both trivial and important matters. So don't be afraid or feel like you have to hold your light back or hold your greatness back. If you are good at what you do, then that is that is yours to own. That is who you are. Um, you don't need to lower your vibration. You don't need to hold yourself back. Um, it's now time for you to step into your fullness, fullness of who you are. So excel and do your best at everything that you do because that's just who you are. You're the best version of yourself. It's not a competitive thing. It's not saying you're the best You're the best version of yourself. You just keep on getting better and better and better. And really, that's why it's like, don't even, don't even look outside for your validation or for those opinions or that feedback of other people. It's like, you just do your thing for the most part and be confident in that and yeah, shine your light don't be held back and it's that shining of light within and then you share it outwardly but it must come from within first all right let's get a celtic tree and uh see see what else the trees want to talk about today all right celtic tree time oh my gosh i don't know where the heck i'm gonna put this card like two cards would probably look better, but you know how I feel about these cards. I only ever really want one. <laughs> like I know two would look good with this layout. Ooh, but listen to me yawn in my podcast. I <laughs> prefer one. <laughs> hey, we can have as much energy as we claim for ourselves. Think about that the next time you're feeling lethargic. That like... You could have more energy if you would just claim it for yourself. Okay, <clears throat> Celtic trees. We got the Coast Redwood. We got the Scots Pine. We have one that popped up in my hand. It is also a pine. It's num I couldn't read it because it was upside down. Number 16, the fir silver fir pine all right well we will put that one above the scots pine <laughs> i don't think there's a redwood tree happening um in this deck whatsoever so i'm just gonna go with the pine and i'm actually gonna put the deck down and see what the pine says if it's complete in us with us um that'll be good um and then if not I'll see what was on the top of the deck okay I'm like pausing to hear what spirit thinks about that <laughs> like, I'm negotiating <laughs> all right number 16 what does that add up to 
one plus six equals seven. Yes, we are very aware of the number seven this week. Um, the silver fir pine, <clears throat> the totems are an eagle and an owl, and the, the deities and guides are the great mother in her many forms. So the key words with this card are foresight, higher perspective, inner vision, the higher self, higher dimensions, unseen realm, clear vision, progress, insight. So yeah, that definitely jives with what we're talking about. Going within for that vertical support, being the conduit between heaven and earth, gaining that higher perspective for yourself so that you can look at your life and navigate better, be more clear in your sight and your vision, be aware that everything is learning everything is teaching you um everything is either showing you something or guiding you or expanding you like it's all for your benefit so the silver fur represents clear sightedness she helps us see the big picture we are encouraged by her to learn from our past mistakes and make new choices based on a higher perspective. <clears throat> so this is a renewing of our perspective, a renewing of our mind. She asks us to take the longer view. This tree offers us a spiritual infusion of understanding. And she does have a very straight trunk, if you were wondering. <laughs> and brings us insight and expanded awareness. Fur holds the love of the great goddess. She can heal and support us through any situation. The wisdom of this tree encourages us to, to take the high road and to apply the words and ways of spirit. I might have to read that again. Take the high road and apply the words and ways of spirit. So this tree is especially helpful as we make resolutions of any kind and speaks to the turning of the wheel after the winter solstice. So I'm going to jump to the reversed meaning, which says you are currently unable to see the forest for the trees. You need to get some distance from your situation or problem, or you will not be able to move towards clarity. Take time away from your problems to gain perspective. Look up towards the light. Look up towards the light, not down at the ground. Seek the advice of some sage person in your life. Look to your dreams as well as to synchronicities in your waking life as these may offer guidance. Spend time looking at mistakes made and resolve to learn from those mistakes. Put arrogance aside and be willing to dismantle misplaced ego. Choose humility. Remember, it is not all on you to solve the problems of the world. You cannot do it alone. You need community, friends, family, and others devoted to healing. If you are alone in your difficulties and cut off from others, are you willing to reach out and take a risk of receiving help? So that's fun that, you know, the trees are branching us outward a little bit, right? Um, but also asking us to do our inner work of, what did it say? It was being willing to dismantle misplaced ego. So yeah, if we are a little too caught up in our ego and the way things should be, we're feeling arrogant, like we can do it ourselves, right? That's when stuff goes wrong, when we don't allow spirit to help us. That's what that's when go when it goes wrong that we think we know how to navigate the horizontal playing field and we forget our vertical support system, right? 
we we don't listen to the our higher guidance and see things from our greater perspective right we ego thinks it can handle it well look look how well you've done ego <laughs> so um pay attention to your synchronicities be guided um honor the teachers in your life the sages um, the Lorraines that you have um, to help guide you. Choose humility. It's not all on you to solve the problems. You can ask for help. You can connect with others. You can connect with the right people devoted to healing, right? So reach out and ask for help if you need it. If you need it, it's there for you. All right, so let's see what this this stately silver fir or pine has to say to us today. I am the stately silver fir or pine. See how I sit on a tall mountain and look out over beautiful valleys and hills? See how I grow towards the heavens and stand tall? I encourage you to take a look at your life from the top of my branches. Here, you can see the past, yes, but you can also look ahead to the future. In the future, you may see many choices. Which one attracts you? Imagine yourself having made that future choice. What are you doing? What do you love? Who are you with? Now, look back at yourself at the top of the tree. Allow your future self to speak. What does it have to say to you? Allow the wisdom of your future self to dream you and reawaken you. Let your future self inform you as you make new choices and new resolutions, which in turn will move you towards the future that pleases you. Yo, so I feel that's good, y'all. We need to connect with our future self. That's enough work for one day. If we got to climb a tree and connect with our future self, um, that is plenty. But seriously, do that exercise. Uh, there is a funny Reddit meme joke going around. Uh, it was a question that said, your future self is talking shit about you. Uh, basically, like, what do you do? And somebody commented, well, the joke's on him because I'm going to fucking ruin his life. <laughs> so if your future self could advise you on the choices and challenges that you're being faced with today, uh, what kind of wisdom can you tap into? There is no such thing as time. So you have full uh, abilities to connect with your future selves and parallel selves. Go ahead and get weird with this and see what type of wisdom and guidance can channel in through your higher perspective. Look to synchronicities, look to your dreams, look to your hunches, look to your nudges, look to the messages coming in through your vertical column of light and just kind of see um, what type of guidance that you can teach yourself. So anyways, on that note, you guys, thank you so much to Double Pines coming in. Thank you, Scott Pine. Thank you, Silver Fir Pine. And thank you, Coast Redwood, for coming in to teach us to be strong and structured and know who we are and have the courage to be ourselves fully. So let's end on that note today. Have the courage to be yourself fully and step into the power and knowledge and essence of who you truly are and make all your life decisions from that alignment. 
All right. Well, I, I always love hanging out with the trees. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.